I'm Summer, and I have two children here at St. Francis. My name is Eddie Brock. My wife Faye and I have one child who's graduated from St. Francis of Assisi. We also have one other child who's currently in the sixth grade here. Hello, my name is Michelangelo Venturella, um, otherwise known here as Mr. V. I am the art teacher from kindergarten all the way to eighth grade. Um, I actually went here from kindergarten all the way to eighth grade, and it is a pleasure to be back and kind of give back to this community, which gave me so much. My name is Elizabeth Joseph, and I'm the principal here at St. Francis. My name is Father Ephraim Bautista, and I'm the pastor of St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church. And what a great opportunity that I have to be able to be part of this dynamic community. When we moved to Vista, we were looking for a parish and a parish school. We chose St. Francis Catholic School for our children simply because we know that the Catholic faith teaches the full doctrine as it was originated from Jesus Christ and handed down uh, through his apostles, starting with Peter. It was never crossed our mind to go to a public school. Something really special about St. Francis is this community involvement, this sense of family here. Our best friends, our extended family, is have come from St. Francis. The children are so innocent and they are hungry for knowledge. The worst thing about St. Francis School oh. I can't think of anything. The thing that I appreciate most about the students is they come from many different backgrounds but they all come in and become one student body. Um, there's less cliques you are a clique, you're a, you're a clique of 30 inside the classroom, whereas in other schools there would be the smaller cliques, whereas everyone here is friends, even across the grades. And they are all equal in the classroom. That I really, really absolutely love. We have a very robust extracurricular program. The athletics really keeps the kids fired up. We have pep rallies, they're putting up their signs. Archery, choir, a reading and writing workshop. Uh, our soccer team, I believe, went undefeated. The girls' volleyball, very good. We have a weekly student body mass on Friday mornings. Catholic school education is well worth the investment, and it's an investment that pays dividends long into life that they will pass on to their own children. I've met families who have been here for 30 years. Their children have gone here, their grandchildren have gone here, and we want to be that family. This environment and this school, this campus, really does feel like home for anyone, for the faculty, for the parents, and especially for the students. At St. Francis, we're very fortunate to have a, a parish that fully supports our parish school and a pastor who um, is very active in our child's religious education and campus life. We focus on three things, teaching, sanctifying, and serving. And we encourage all of our students to grow as Christian disciples. And it is the church's responsibility under our leadership to teach us how to go out into the world and be the light for Christ. A religious education with a rigorous curriculum will truly prepare them for the rigors of high school and beyond building a foundation that is faith-based in a strong and active, diverse community like St. Francis is a start that's rivaled by few. I'm good friends with um, the Sullivan family and they have five children and they're a military family and they were at our school for a couple years before he was um, transferred. And we didn't get to see them for almost two years. And when they had a chance to come back to the North County area, uh, Mrs. Sullivan had called the school and said, we're coming home. And when all of us uh, moms learned that they were coming back, it just was a real great testament to our school and our family here that they missed us and we were so happy that they came back and they've been here for a year and we hope that they stay.